in the aim of reducing animal testing and because of the variability of the NIH test, WHO encourages to develop in vitro approaches for evaluating rabies vaccine potency. This ELISA test shows a good concordance with the classical NIH test in recognizing the immunogenic form of the glycoprotein, shows a high sensitivity and can be performed within only one day. Evaluation of rabies vaccine potency in vitro by ELISA is an alternative to the in vivo NIH test. It is promoted by the manufacturers and national control laboratories. It's critical to distribute precise volumes in duplicate for each dilution and to well dry the plate on absorbent paper after washes to avoid background. To begin this procedure, put on adequate personal protection equipment, including disposable coat, gloves, mask, and glasses. Treat the contaminated materials by immersing it in a solution of 2.6% sodium hypochlorite for 30 minutes for decontamination. Next, set out a 96-well immunoassay plate and add 200 microliters of the monoclonal antibody diluted in the carbonate buffer to each well. Cover the plate with adhesive film and incubate the microplate at 37 degrees Celsius for three hours in a humidified environment. Then carefully aspirate and transfer the well content into a recipient containing a solution of 2.6% sodium hypochlorite. Invert the microplate and let it...